to this latest Yarndal make along with Emma at uh, Seasons Greetings. Uh, today we're going to be making this really cute um, teeny tiny crochet chain. Um, it's perfect kind of cutie Christmas um, project using all your bits of leftovers. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's very simple. The pattern's on the website so you'll need your pattern but actually when you've watched this you probably don't need the pattern. Anyhow the pattern is on the website. Um, you'll also need a four millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle and any scraps of double knit wool that you've got or cotton or any double knit yarn um, that you've got left over from various projects will be absolutely perfect for this. Um, I'm using one of our yarn down, um, learn to crochet kits but you can use any, any at all. So you've got all your bits gathered together Okay, we're going to start with the first row, which is just chain 18. So I'll start with a slip knot. I'm just going to move those scissors and that needle out of the way. It might be a bit easier to see what I'm doing. Okay, we zoom in. Okay, so we're going to chain 18. Two, three, four, five, six. 10, 11, 12. All right, so I've got my chain 18. All right, sorry, I can't talk as well as count at the same time. I just lose count and get in the right old muddle. Okay, so that's the first row done. So the second row is a row of trebles. I'm using UK trebles. Okay, and my first treble I'm going to do in the third chain from my hook. OK, so to do a treble, I wrap my yarn around my hook into that chain stitch, the third one from my hook, yarn round and pull back through. So I've got three loops on my hook. That's why it's called a treble. Wrap the yarn around and pull through two. Wrap the yarn around and pull through two. That's your treble done. I'll do that again. So wrap the yarn around into the chain, the next chain. Wrap the yarn around and pull back through. Got my three loops on my hook. Look, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. And I'm going to continue doing that all the way along my chain, and I will end up with sixteen trebles in total. So, like I say, you can use any any scraps of yarn you've got to make this. It really is a perfect stash buster, so you don't need to go out and buy anything. Um, if you're a crafter, a crochet or a knitter, you've probably got everything that you need to make this really cute, quick Christmassy decoration. Of course, it doesn't have to just be for Christmas. Um, you might recognise some of these chains. I, um, I actually made them back in the summer. And I made them when um, we were doing the alphabet to let everybody know about our different exhibitors. So we always do an alphabet every year to put on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and announce all our different exhibitors. So they actually started out as, as woolly alphabet and they have morphed. They have joined together and made a lovely chain. I've always had paper chains in our house at, at Christmas. I used to make them when I was a little girl. I made them again with my children. We've actually got the same the same um, paper chains that we put up and zigzag across our dining room ceiling every year. They're made out of bits of old magazine, cardboard, even some old photographs. All joined together and they zigzag across the ceiling. The last couple of years we've, we've added fairy lights as well. So. So this year I'll be able to add some, some woolly ones. Right, so I've got to the end. I've gone all the way along my chain. Okay, so to finish off, pull the yarn back through. Pull a longer loop like that. I'm just going to snip it off there. Okay, and these ends I'm going to use to join the two ends of my, my link together to actually make it into... A link so it'll be the first link of my chain. So using the darning needle, so 
thread needle, loop it around, loop it around a finger if it helps like that so you can see. And then I'm just going to use that tail to go backwards and forwards and join my two, two ends of the link together. And it's the beginning of a new woolly chain. So if you joined in with our worldwide creative project this year, we made we made big crochet chains. Well this is this is the teeny tiny baby version. It's like the little cousin or the little sister or the little brother. Okay, so using the other tail as well and we just go backwards and forwards just to join it together and hide it hide that tail in there and right there we go snip snip there we go now my bump there is the first link of our chain now when you do your second link exactly the same as you've just done you end up with a flat link like that, it looks a bit like a caterpillar. Before you join the ends to make it into, into the second link, you need to loop it through the first link. Otherwise you'll end up with a whole lot of separate little links and think mm, it doesn't look much like a chain. They'll be like napkin rings, poor tiny napkin rings, not much use. So I've looped it through, thread my needle, Okay, and exactly the same. Use both both of those tails to join your link. You don't have to be terribly neat because you don't you don't see these stitches. They're literally just joining stitches. And snip it off. Alright, I won't do I won't do that second one off because I think you've probably got the idea. Okay, and there's the start of another teeny tiny crochet chain for Christmas or for any time of the year. Anyhow, happy crocheting and um, if you do make some chains, please do share them. We'd love to see what you've been making. Okay, Merry Christmas. Bye.